Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the Group C Round 2 match between Truk and his Undead and Tumish and his Orcs. Uh, Truk has won the toss, chosen to receive. I can flash up the table before this game and my game. Um, let's pretend my game hasn't happened. So, you know, anything could happen. Tumish has started the best with a win. And uh, Truk and I drew first round, so there you go, there is the table. I can tell you that uh, Truk is from Chile and qualified via Rebel. Tumish is Russian and qualified via the official Season 5 official playoffs. So, two very good coaches with very good teams. Uh, the Orcs here have got four guard, gone with a guard blitzer and a naked biggin. A tackle, blitzer, and a leader thrower, and then the troll as well. So, so this is an effort to get everything in, right? He's got twelve players. He's got an apple. He's got three re rolls. He's got everything by taking the leader um, thrower. However, obviously he loses a skill, but but then he's got mighty blow via the troll rather than a blitzer. So, pretty pretty decent roster. Undead have got three guard, which is very good for the heavier games, like this one. And uh, the dirty player, Skellington, is uh, a choice. Not what I would do. And only got three ghouls as well to give him a 14th player. So a rather unusual team. A blocker and a wrestler. So yeah, a very, uh, very atypical undead team. But a come and, and you know a somewhat atypical orc team, but yeah, it should be a very, a very, a super interesting game, as some would say. Yeah, only three ghouls, I think, is I'd go so far as to say is wrong. Honestly, fourteen players is a lot. Um, I feel like you should have four ghouls. There you go. I don't even know what I want the result of this to be. <laughs> I guess nothing really matters to me. It's you know it, it's, it doesn't really matter what you think, does it? Just <laughs> whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Um, it's got green and black. Though. I quite like the green and black diagonal stripes. Pretty cool. Ooh, trap doors for the whole half. Okay. Unlikely to be too relevant. Just needs a splash of yellow, of course, to me. Of course. There's somebody who's got green, black and yellow in this tournament. I thought you'd be a big fan of them, but yeah, it's not. It's not true. He's just green and black. He's got the brutal cheerleaders. And uh, oh, just default and default coach, default coach, default cheerleaders for two mish. Um, default coach and at least brutal cheerleaders for Truk. Gets a removal, always good, even though it's literally the worst player on the team, <laughs> lineman, but still. Blitz first. It's not what I would have done because if you do this block, obviously a block plus block, then um, this one could be a one nine, right? And now you can't you can't budget. I guess at least it gets the orcs a little bit away from like the ball pickup area. Blockless block. You can't even think about not re-rolling this. Absolutely critical. I would have I would have actually considered blitzing the the troll. 
and like three dicing this guy, three dice this guy, and then blitz the troll with block. I didn't hate. Because then at least like you're guaranteed to get the uh, blitzer away from you for the pickup. Feel like, I don't know if it could reach here, but I feel it's much better here. And the there's the zombie standing there, right? I guess he's going for the foul. He's going for the foul before the ball, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, if he gets a removal here, it's pretty good, isn't it? Doesn't. Needed Mighty Blow to get there, not Mighty Blow, Dirty Player to get the AV break. So I guess stunning, stunning the troll and walking away from it is pretty good. Strand it on a zombie for the rest of the half. If you can. A very safe pickup in it. The only, the only problem is this, this girl being exposed. Especially when you've only got three of them. But that was the price he paid for the dirty player he's taken and used. Um, I mean, not much has happened. We, we pick, we haven't, we failed to pick up the ball. We fouled the troll, and uh, about to get a ghoul smashed to pieces here. Almost certainly, I would say. Seems too good a hit to pass up. Beacons moving in. Stub skulls. Obviously he has to re-roll this. Well, it doesn't have to. We can think about it. Only gets a push. I, honestly, I don't know. Um, a poor stuff sus. I've really got no idea. So, at the end of the day, all I can do is like play my last game. Um, it's not on yet, uh, Breaky T. I I did notice that you had them as eight thirty a.m. They they just put eight thirty p.m. as their time, not like twenty thirty, as they should have done. Oh, Apple stabs us, of course. God, I'm an idiot. So yeah, they are actually scheduled at 20.30, yeah. I literally just like looked at it last night, so I mean, I could have, I could have messaged you, but it was about like 3 a.m. my time when I realized. Because Noble House, uh, I'm much more interested in a game that affects my group than um, watching KFOG, sorry. <laughs> I did change the schedule because I'm selfish. They are not actually Truk and Tumish didn't schedule till like yesterday or something. Oh my goodness. Basically has to re-roll that. That's really unlucky, isn't it? Five both downs out of six dice. Very unlucky. But now he's really got to think about the correct ordering, hasn't he? Flip me. Flip me, now like blocking with block and uh, turn ordering becomes absolutely critical. The funny thing is, you know, you can argue that it was critical before, right? But Mighty Blow is really good, isn't it? <laughs> Killing players, is re removing players is the best thing you can do. Uh, by the way, too much uses Apple there, didn't you? Keep him on. Completely reasonable thing to do. Apple's really good a lot of the time, keeping KO players on the pitch. 
Yeah, it was so late that I noticed it. I, th- I, I mean, I should have, I should have uh, messaged it still, but I just didn't. Sorry. <laughs> He goes straight in for a blockless block, gets the pow, huge. Like the problem is he didn't really have a block full block to do, so he basically just had to do this. So I think that was the right thing to do. Apple stabs us. I'm sure I said that right as well before, and then I just didn't this time. Apostomsis. <laughs> it's really hard to read things. <laughs> oh, there's a 1D, a blockless 1D. That is not what I would have done. Oh, no, it was a block full 1D. Okay. He does a block full 1D. That's still not what I would have done. I would have definitely just gone for the pickup first. I would have moved this guy. Moved this guy in, right, to protect and then pick up. I think he wants to foul the troll again, doesn't he? I think he just wants to foul the troll again. So he's probably going to like run back with a ball and bring this guy over and foul the troll again. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's going with. Oof. The 1D was rowdy, flipping rowdy. Okay, so I don't like this as much as getting in the assist first. Failed anyway. But also probably shouldn't, you know, probably the play is after you stun the troll is to then like abandon the troll, right? I think. Get the dig in, then abandon it. I mean, it depends. Like, you know, you can just keep keep smashing it, obviously. But the fact that the trolls can be abandoned. I mean, now he's completely frozen out, right? He can't get somebody to activate it. And if he does stand up, it gets punched. So, like, it is thoroughly controlled this turn. So we can run away next turn. But I like I like I like getting it and then running away from it. But yeah, I guess. This is fine. So yeah, sorry if there's KFOG fans. This I was going to do KFOG, but that was before True Contumish were scheduled. And then once they were scheduled, I was like, right. That's the perfect game to do. Um, seeing as... It's in my group. This isn't easy for Tumish, is it? It was a block for block though, so... Two stuns and a stupid, in addition to a KO, is a pretty brutal turn. Didn't have a whole lot he could do. I do. Let's see what Truk does. Thanks so much. With it being the World Cup, don't want to say too much about spec, like too much speculation, right, with the live games. So he does do the block full 2D. 
this does make for a 1 in 36 fail instead of a 1 in 27 fail but also you know the 1 in 27 fail blitz would have been a uh, more chance of a knockdown and with mighty blow so mighty blow as it happened wouldn't have made any difference getting some incredible rolls isn't he at the moment Truk Is it worth going for randoms? It depends, Hesse. It depends on how long you're playing the team and how much you care about winning with them right now and stuff. What your goals are, etc., etc. Lots of factors to factor in. Play for the kills. It's good advice if you can do it. If it was possible to do, I would do it. Here we go. We're going to go in for another foul. We're going to bring in the ghoul this time. No, he's running a guy away. Don't do that. More players. More players. Kill the troll. What are you doing? No! <laughs> okay, maybe he is gonna. The thing is, what what I would if I was if my plan was to do this, I guess what I would have tried to have done is uh, blitz this guy, right? Oh my god! Instantly sent off. Oh, I'll use the call. Superb. The problem now, you, you can go in and, and, and wake it up, right? Like, this guy should have been up here. So you're screening it, right? This guy should have been here. So they've got to physically blitz this guy to stand up their troll. Now they've just got to stand next, someone next to him to stand him up. So it's a lot easier for them to get the troll activated. I did used to have those, you know, Demir's commands, but um, I think I got rid of them as sound effects. Well, I mean, I've turned off all the sound effects, and I actually have turned off the bot. Let me, let me turn the bot back on. What command should I make for the bot? Like, probably break it and nuffle. To go to like, and then schedule and casts, yeah. Oh, I should have pinned my, uh, should have pinned my thing, shouldn't I? I've got a thing to pin. I didn't like them going up here at all, right? It's like splitting his own team. If I'd abandoned the troll, I'd abandon it to come through here and like keep the mummies together. And like, you know, push through helping each other with the guard and the strength five. But now he's kind of split his own team. Even after winning the argue the call. He's still in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. As Americans think we talk like.
Shame he can't get the surf, isn't it? If only this zombie had been a ghoul, he could have pushed it there, and then this could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, but it's not a ghoul. <laughs> Instead of a block ghoul, it's a dirty player zombie. It's, uh, it's not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Can be good, can't it? It can be good sometimes. I feel like I hardly used any um, time bank in my game. I'm sure I do. I think I had about five minutes left. But um, already below that for truck. Does follow? Oh, he's got a movement left if he wants to assist the foul. This is the problem, like, look how isolated this mummy is, right? Imagine if he just had two mummies here. He's absolutely dominating and pushing through easily. Oh, injured! Well, the dirty player looks incredible now. He does get sent off. But that's a hell of a trade, isn't it? Guard Biggin is out for the whole match. And nothing's close to touching this ghoul in the backfield. But I sure, I sure actually hate the, the way that this mummy's up here. This mummy and this zombie. Like, I get that they're stopping the orcs coming down here, right? But I would have let them come and been here. And uh, been very happy about two mummies leading the kind of spearhead. Getting the penetration. Mummy penetration is uh, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, people, it, it, the pressure's intense, right? Like, you know, people people really don't like make mistakes. Well, I don't know if people do. I certainly just don't want to make mistakes. That's the biggest thing for me. It's just like, I just don't want to make a goofy mistake and lose the game myself. And I imagine people are also feeling that and really just trying to not mess up more. Maybe thinking about, you know, more brave plays. Like, I, I nearly did a 4 plus Witch Elf dodge to serve. Things like that. No guard over here at all, is there? So this this guy would have to rush to get in if he wants to. <laughs> no, yeah, do we imagine somebody does that? Wow, rock. Yeah, okay, that makes a big difference, eh? He's blitzing with him. It's the big pal. Oh, I guess that means that you can try for this dodge, and if it fails, he's not in too much danger of getting this guy surfed. But he's still in a bit of danger of getting this guy surfed, isn't he? Because there is a ghoul here who can just dodge to do it. So, yeah. Or, in fact, could be blitzed out and then just block him off, so yeah. Lots of things possible here for Truk. It's funny, yeah, I, like I just see what I want to do instantly, but um, I get that other people don't. And. Uh, It's in, it is interesting because, you know, the dodge could be good, the, the ghoul dodge could be good and, like, just blitz. Because you could, you know, you could, you could dodge the ghoul and you could blitz somebody else or you could 
you could you could do a lot of different things and as soon as you've got the time you could think about like what is the actual best thing right and what is the best like I made a mistake in my game actually I uh, I assisted from the wrong square and uh, that maybe cost me the win well not it maybe didn't maybe I won anyway but maybe that cost me <laughs> who knows oh rush I don't know, Jimmy. Um, well, not in the not in the brief time we had together. No, you might have done at the time. Dallas World Cup bid is official. Wow. I assume that's the Blood Bowl World Cup and not the real World Cup. Does the cool dodge blitz? Makes it a blockless block, gets the power anyway. <laughs> the rest of the world might disagree with you, BP Jock. <laughs> And that lets this guy get out as well, pretty far ahead, pretty nice. I hate it with the way this, this just ends like this sometimes. Annoying little bug. That was nice getting that little formation to get the zombie punch. This has worked out really good spot, hasn't it, for Truk here. Done really well. Tank pitch. Yeah, that's a pretty nice pitch. Very clear. We like clear pitches. And it's Western themed. <laughs> When, when is the World Cup? The Blue Bowl one. Oh, I would go to that then. Also, World Cup is just uh, is just teams, isn't it? There's uh, no, no. It's not Team England. They're, they're, they're like their personal teams. The World Cup. Are they? Are these six-man teams? Six-man teams, and they're just they're just private teams as well. Oh, very exciting. Well, I know four of them. Whether they'll all be able to go or not. Maybe. And then who would the two extras be? <laughs> yes, I thought it might be Le Peg. No, no offence to his opponent. But. <laughs> I thought it might be. So a very nice drive for Truk, really. Um, this tackle is a little bit of a problem, right? You might get into a little bit of a problem here at the end of the drive. But overall, being very comfortable, I'd say. Maybe we will, Steve, but it's not going to stop the best players being the best players, is it? I mean, let's be honest, Team England is also a mates team, isn't it? <laughs> At the end of the day. I 
I know there's the whole, you know, Team England charter and all this stuff, but, uh, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's still mates teams. Wow. Okay. I actually quite like that guy keeping the big one off your back. Not so sure about that dodge. Also, he didn't block this. I, I get that he was scared of, like, the uh, one in nine or whatever, but he could have blocked him, right, and then got him away. Well, then he gives him one D, though. Um, so, yeah, blocking him there and, like, doing that would be great, wouldn't it? Oh, wow, the troll stayed out. I could have blocked him onto there. He could have blocked him onto there. I mean, that would have been incredible, blocking him onto there, actually. And following. Yeah, that would have been a really good block. He might not be able to keep the orcs off him here. Gonna get a tackle of goo. He might have to he might have to go in early after after all after just saying what a great drive he's had. He might he might lose a goo and have to go in early. Doesn't lose a ghoul yet. There's the first dodge. Oh, and a double rush. I would, I would have dodged this as well, I think. Feel like get uh, then he can chain him out though yeah this is, I mean getting this guy in would be really good wouldn't it wow pretty incredible that like after having such a good drive four orcs have really got in the way of five undead and it's really difficult Really difficult. Looks like he's going to have to score an early if he can make a dodge. One deed rather than um, dodging because if you rolled a both down, he could still dodge, right? And this guy could have uphilled with block, which is slightly better odds, but the problem is it's not leading to things. So, yeah, it was it was good play by uh, too much to get back into it, like you know. And it was just like really one kind of bad turn and, you know, outnumbered. He, he did all the right things, didn't he? Very good play by Tumish, I would say. And it looks like I might get him the victory. Being absolutely dominant, wrecking ghouls. Yeah, I like putting him back there. And I like doing the blitz before the surf. I feel like Toomish is a very, very good blood ball player, to be honest. Very good. Which, uh,. I have to say, upsets me a little bit, seeing as he's my third round opponent. Um, because the blitz is with block, and if, let's say, he rolled a 1 in 81 on the block, and this guy goes down, then he could pick up the ball, blitz this guy, score, right? 
uh, like this guy could do something. So if you block him first, then it's another player he hasn't got to do stuff. It's basically like you're like things can happen. It actually would have been the same actually. If, if you fail, you fail, and he just runs down here anyway. But. It's like, it's adding such so, such little risk, right? A 1 in 36 of having to re-roll it with like the potential upside of killing this ghoul and um, making making his last turn harder, right? Whatever happens, just make sure his last turn harder. And then if you fail this, it's not so bad because you've, you've mitigated the failure state. It mitigates the failure state by adding a risk, but a very small risk. <laughs> I think if the if the big and had block, then surf first is better. I could be wrong, and I could be talking rubbish, but that's the way I feel. You can score, can't you? You can dodge out, pick it up. Oh my god. Oh, he failed. And then he could have dodged. One deed for a push. Uh, certainly powered him. And then dodged and then double rushed. But now, he's going to get this skill surfed. He can't double surf. Glorious. But he can definitely surf. No, I surf. won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Very good, Dimmy. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, don't. What an absolute legend. Staying fantastic for 84. Oh, glorious month. 21. Who will be the pregnancies? Thank you very much. Oh, well. He doesn't die. That surf. He gets to bang. Let me. He gets to bang this. He does. It is still game on, yet. The undead still have a full team. The orcs are down a big one. And the linemen did not recover either. So the orcs have... 8, 9, 10, 11 players still. What? No. <laughs> Just didn't count. <laughs> 10 players. 10 players for the Orcs, 11 for the Undead. And you know if these mummies get lucky, look how good this guy looks, by the way. What a badass. Way better than this guy, he looks rubbish. <laughs> how bad would you feel if you were this mummy? <laughs> this is the other one. <laughs> and, you're, and you're just this dirtbag. <laughs> Train your brain, really, Dimmy. Oh dear. <laughs> it's hard, okay? It's hard to count. He's done the same with the with the uh, with the whites as well. Look, this guy looks class. He's all covered in bones and stuff. <laughs> this guy just looks rubbish. <laughs> I guess at least this is the guard one. I don't know what he's got against this mummy in particular. Oh, this girl's got the stuff as well. I didn't realise there were so many good, so many good like bony uh, customizations for undead. I have to buy them. Exactly, all of them. Yeah, only ten men. Things could happen. It's so hard to count, right? Honestly, people, people are too harsh. <laughs> too harsh on streamers counting. It's the most difficult task in the world.
why has he got them both in the same team though? Then that's the question, right? Like, <laughs> this one, like, they're, they're the same, right? This is the block goal, he's special. This is the guard white, he's special. And then just randomly, this mummy looks great and this mummy's just sad. <laughs> yeah. You can, Santa from Exeter, you can. The, but the best one was Trent counting to seven, wasn't it? <laughs> what are the odds of a three plus? Well, you you fail on a one or a two and you succeed on a three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> so that was that was a pretty good one. Top tier counting. I haven't I haven't done that badly yet. Yet. <laughs> I can count a four. Dimmy's got the old three plus one equals six as well, and he that was that was a bit mean, maybe wasn't it in retrospect? But it was just it was just a way because of the you know the bulletproof and then chairproof and then him liking Stone Cold and then Austin three sixteen. You've got to have Dimmy three sixteen, haven't you? And then that was that was uh, that was the way to do it. Yes, I remember the uh, hitting on a seven. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we could blitz this fella and and split the team. Is that something worth doing? No idea. Could also blitz this one and do the same thing. Is it worth doing? No idea. Could base up, could not base up. Anything is possible. Yeah, I remember the hitting on a seven. It wasn't just one, was it? It was 40k, it was Necromunda, it was uh, Mordheim, it was everything. I think maybe uh, putting the guard in here and blitzing the troll was best. Because then you get the knock over the troll. And then you get like three players to come around there. Quite like banging in the trunk. Yeah, the Undead can definitely win this. Still a player up. Don't say it's over. I don't particularly like just feeding a ghoul to the tackler. But, you know, everyone else is kind of Occupied, so it's not great for the orcs, is it? Hello, Fez. I am not, unfortunately, no. Um, there's just so many games happening that uh, I'm just going to do them all as replays. Well, apart from this one, because currently there's not enough games happened to fill the time while this is on. But after this ends then all of the other ones there's so many of them that you know it's just going to be backfilling all of the replays okay, so it brings the big one in it is tricky right because if he doesn't protect the ball the ghouls will just get it away from him Yeah, honestly, I probably wouldn't have even done this one live if I could have just done more replays, but it's uh, this one. 
like I don't think there would have been enough replays to do this night. It's just weird, you know, the way that all the timing works out basically that it ends up that there's people doing some and then there's time to do a replay and then this is a tricky turn, isn't it? This is a pretty tricky turn. Well, the uh, the live, the, the what's it called? The later rounds will all be live, won't they? Probably. Um, we've got... Well, the round of 16. The round of 32, there's going to be even more games than the round of 64. So there'll be even less live games then, probably. And the first round of the knockout. But in the second knockout round... Oh, huge 1D. I wonder if it was worth moving the troll first. He's surely going to punch with the troll, otherwise you wouldn't have kept it in contact, right? You could have just pushed it away. Now he, he has to hit it. He just has to hit it with a troll. And if this is a push or a stupid, then the... Mummy is just opening his cage. Oh dear. Wait, no he's not. I thought I thought the ball was here. Okay, he doesn't have to hit him then. <laughs> I thought literally I thought this was the ball. I thought, oh my god, he's gonna hit him and then hit the ball. And I thought, wait a minute, the cage is open. Oh no, the ball's over here. Wow, punter. Wow. Wow, that's so mean. Um yeah, the thing is on the late right, so the late rounds don't even really, there's only really going to be one round where there's a decent amount of free time. Which is going to be the round 16. And then the round of 8 is all, you know, it's all compressed over three days when I'll be in Montpellier with Dave One Tree. Oh, he's got a chain, but it doesn't do anything. No, uh, it could. It could do something. No, it couldn't. No, it couldn't. Errata, errata, errata. <laughs> Glorious fun. Yeah, fancy a shower. What a, what a classic. Is this a knockdown? It is. Oh, and an AV break. Huge removal. Absolutely huge. Boy, howdy. So Truk has got too much under the cosh here, hasn't he? The thing he's got to be worried about is like, you know, an, an escape route for uh, too much. But uh, I like, I like the, the wrestle hit here. Because if it works, it's great. The problem is, um, the following and then just getting punched by tackle. Okay, he's just going all in. He's going all in. Flip me, guys. Woo! We are all in. Boy, howdy. It's time to get rowdy. Probably in there, right? I thought he'd go in there, but isn't in here. I think in here is better, so then this isn't even a 2D, right? Flip me. He's gone full Dulac. I mean, going full Dulac works for Dulac. I mean, he is number one ranked tabletop player in the world. So. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, instant dub skulls! Wow, what a start to his turn. It does clear him though, and there is an escape route here, which he did not. He did not. 
stop the escape route, um, which is another thing he could have done, but he didn't. He went. He is a little bit differently. Thank you very much for the subscription, Niggle Peach. Okay, <laughs> so, or is it Nigel with two G's? Whichever one it is. Thank you very much. Okay, he's not going for the escape. That might be a mistake. He might. He maybe should have gone for the escape this turn. Because, like, uh, I guess two out of the three ghouls are behind the ball, and the white is behind the ball. See, look, at, look how much better it is if this guy's on there. And then he can't even make a 1D. I mean, he could make a 1D, but it's a blockless 1D, right? I think that's better than here. But, I mean, he's still got a lot of stuff in there, so... Oh, never mind. He's he's just taken that guy out himself. And he's dub skulled with a troll. And now... Flip me, guys. We're going to get two dice on the ball. Very likely. Very, very likely to get two dice on the ball. I would have gone for the dodge out. Yeah, I would have, I would have gone for the dodge out. I would have gone for going up around here or going up through here. Like, you know, start with the uh, troll, right? And then try and go through there is an option. Um, trying to solidify this just seems like it can't work. So I feel like my way out was to open with a troll block, then block this, and then uh, get out up there. As as rubbish as it is, as rubbish as that is, I think that was the way to do it. I mean, he didn't have any good handoffs. Wasn't really anything he could do, I don't think. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? So this gives him the blitz. A blockless blitz into a block full blitz. And also a great a great uh, scatter if it goes wrong. He could just stand these up, right? He could just be safe here. I get him not being safe. Definitely don't think about re-rolling this for a second. <laughs> because you can just 1 in 9 and lose. So the annoying thing now is this scatter isn't very good, right? Oh, the ball down's pretty good, though. Money. Hmm. Well... This is looking... It's only turn 11. This is looking pretty horrendous for Tumish. I would have maybe not made this dodge, and I'll tell you why. You know what Trug's thinking here, right? Dodge, block this guy, knock over the big one, complete domination of the ball. Um, which, is, which is obviously really good and fair. The thing is, if you fail that, you know, you you give him an, a route back in, right? So I would have maybe not even tried it. Just stood this guy up and uh, ended the turn. But I mean, this is incredible, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five orcs down. That one in nine was absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal troll block fail. Wow. <laughs> yep, yep, just powering everything looks great, doesn't it? And now, now Tumish is in an absolute nightmare position. Absolute nightmare. I can't even begin to think what the solution is. <laughs> <laughs> Is it to uphill the mummy and hope that you pow it and it scatters back into your hands? That might be how stupid it is. Oh, he goes for a dodge. So he's still trying to be sensible.
Like, it is nil-nil, right? So we can try and defend the nil-nil. Just really try to battle to defend the nil-nil. Like, get, give up on scoring. Now is completely reasonable. And just try to defend the nil-nil. And that's a pretty good way of doing it, isn't it? Getting tackle on the ghouls with a guard as well. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Dimmy. You know what I mean? Like, you might still want to try and win 1 0 here, right? If you're the Orcs. But I think you've got to give that up, right? Which feels terrible on, like, turn four of your half, giving up trying to score, but. I think that's you know. could be put. Nobody knows what happened with my uh, with my game earlier, but um, there is the potential of that. Oof! Not a great scatter. Not a great. I mean, still he can still do things, right? There's still lots of things he can do here. Gets a big pow. I feel like I would have stood this guy up like ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> And probably also move this guy in as well, right? So that they're all tagged and stuff. Oh my goodness. I honestly don't know, Nyaga. Even if I was able to do spoilers with, you know, like I am not spoiling the results of the previous game earlier between myself and Kelathon, but even if I were to spoil that, I just genuinely, I, I genuinely don't know what's best for me. I think... Again, without spoilers, I think I'd probably just have to win my last game, whatever happens, anywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's good that they're not scoring, I guess, from the tiebreakers. It's good that there's not, there's, there's, it's not a high scorer. Yeah. Actually, maybe that was, uh, maybe that's, that should have factored in how I played the, uh, I kind of hate not just blocking the, other guy first, but then you know, my, my power and stuff. So he's got the ball. He hasn't got too many places he can go with it. I would have gone up here to make that a 3D. And then you can block him to get him through, right? Oh, he didn't. He went for the... Went for the mummy block. Oh, wow. He just does a dodge. Do, has he forgotten about this ghoul? Why is your goo just standing there? <laughs> the goo could have just come, come and stood there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The goo could have just stood there. And then this this guy could have dodged there. Like, that was a four plus zombie dodge. He did a four, two, two. When he could have just moved. <laughs> He's supervising. <laughs> The ghoul is supervising. Yeah, I mean, there's a direct route for the big one. <laughs> direct route. 
or you can you know you can dodge and hit with tackle as well but like it seems crazy to not have him covered like my play would have been this zombie covers him the ghoul comes there and now it's difficult right he's going to dodge and go all the way around and my play would have been one back as well Yeah, d double rush, double rush for this guy, isn't it? Just 2D blitz. Um, or you could single rush him and then dodge this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, double rush. So you could, you could, but then you hit him with tackle, right? Hitting with tackle is pretty strong. But I think you probably just 2D him. Oh! Oh God, oh God. Oh my god, he's out of re-rolls. He makes the dodge, he makes the rush, he's only doing a 1D, and he skulls. Oh dear. No, I I think 1Ding is a lot worse than just 2Ding with the uh, bigger. Right, now he, now he can do something with a supervisor if he wants. <laughs> Man, he's looking really because because like this is the orcs drive right. So, saying he was a handoff scoring threat there, handoff for scoring. This the 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 undead are going this way. <laughs> the undead are scoring in this end zone. So, uh, you know, he's kind of like a safety. It's fair enough, I guess, being a safety. But like, you don't need, you know, you don't need a safety now, right? The the orcs are like absolutely battling for this ball. You don't need a safety. You need uh, stuff going up. Ball carrier blitz is fantastic here, right? Because he hasn't got block. The danger is getting stuck on a one in nine. With the ball carrier blitz, usually. And that is not going to happen, so... A great move to make. Undead looking pretty strong. Now I'm really regretting not beating him. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was so close. I was so close to beating him. Oh yeah, Trug is out of time bank. Oh my god, he nearly just ran out of time this turn. Holy moly. Get the supervisor in! <laughs> oh my, his dice have been ridiculous, by the way. Um, if, if I was too mish, oh my god, I would be pretty unhappy. Look at that. Orcs, by the way, absolutely smashed to pieces. And not just that, he's faced multiple stuns as well. Multiple stuns too. I mean, to be fair, the Moise have got Mighty Blow, right? And he's also fouled a few times a dirty player. Like, it, it's... He's had things. It hasn't just been like, you know... It's not just like insane dice, but it it is still insane dice, right? That's that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy dice. And now Two Mish's best chance is that Troop just runs out of time, right? <laughs> And when I say best chance, maybe only chance. <laughs> yeah, this zombie and the orc have just been locked. <laughs> they've just been uh, they've just been enjoying themselves in a completely different game. Somebody, somebody needs to like do a montage of like set to lady in red. <laughs> These two <laughs> for the whole half, <laughs> just doing nothing. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, what a Dyson. Absolute Dyson. And Tumish, I think he played very well first half, Tumish, to uh, recover from the position he was in. Uh, defend, but second half, nothing he could do, was there? Absolutely nothing he could do against this comedy mega dicing. Not to take anything away from how Trix played, you know, he, he, he applied the pressure, you know, very well and stuff, but uh, also it was it was definitely a dicing. Like some people, I remember, uh, I remember Guinness at the World Cup getting out of blitz with a ghoul here by the way in case the one in nine. Mm. Pretty good. Pretty good at the blood bowls, just quietly. Um I remember I remember Guinness at the World Cup getting sad, getting annoyed that I said he was uh lucky. But I mean he was, he was just very, very lucky. Now that's okay, it doesn't mean they haven't played well, right? It doesn't mean they haven't made every single decision correctly. But Doing this versus Orcs is very lucky. <laughs> no matter how many times you hit with Mighty Blow or Foul with Dirty Player. But I mean, I did like the way. I like the way both of them played. Just is what it is. Yeah, good game, yeah. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. So, um, there's a few things, isn't there? This is the thing. There is the teams. The teams can be, like, brutally skewed, even at this level, right? Somebody could choose up All World Alliance, for example, or Imperial Nobility. So the teams are always a factor. And the dice are always a factor and the relative skill levels of the players but then also like their play on the day right like they might not live up to uh their usual standard or play above their usual standard or whatever so you know the four factors in deciding a game blood bowl and the closer all three are the more likely the dice decide but it, it's like the other three right if the other three are close then it's more likely that the dice decide but all three have to be close to it for the other to be a bigger decider. Little TD dance, you love to see it. And again, I can't show you the updated tables, but this was the table before this match. So now Tumish has a loss and Truk has a win. So now Truk is top of the table on four points and Tumish is second on three as it stands there. So there you go. Congratulations, true commiserations, Tumish. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.